and welcome to Uzma's Legacy Cooking Show. Um, so if you're tired of cooking peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for lunch, making omelet sandwiches, making roast beef sandwiches, and you want a new idea, well tonight I have a great sandwich for you. And it was sent in by um, a friend of mine, Ujiha. It is a pumpernickel egg and legacy chutney. Um, sandwich. So this is my first time making it and it looked really good. So I'm going to make it with all of you and then I'm going to give it to my husband for lunch and take it for, to my work for lunch. So um, everything I make I do eat so just bear with me and we'll have a great time this evening. So what we do is we take four hard-boiled eggs or actually let's start with the ingredients. We start with four hard-boiled eggs crushed and we have our legacy chutney. We have some curry powder we have some vinegar, we have butter, or you can use mayonnaise. I prefer to use butter over mayonnaise whenever I make my egg salad sandwiches and stuff, but um, if you decide mayonnaise, that's fine too. We have our pumpernickel bread. I got the cute little slices so it looks nice and dainty. And then we have some sprouts, or you can use some watercress. Okay, so first of all, what we do is we take our four eggs, and I already chopped them and cut them up, and we put them in our bowl. And like I said before, you could use mayonnaise, but I like to use butter, so I am going to use about, let's say, this butter's hard, I should have thought it, huh? About three tablespoons of butter. Um, the original recipe does call for mayonnaise, about one fourth cup, but like I said, I'm not really into mayonnaise that much, all those calories. I'm trying to watch what I eat and I take a lot of Bikram yoga and walks and so don't want to let all that go down the drain. So let's put in our three tablespoons of butter. It's always good to have different types of recipes to use with your legacy chutney. I mean it can be a lot of like ethnic but these simple everyday um, recipes are a really good kick and taste really great. So it's good to try different things, you know, every, every time I do my recipes, I'll try to do ethnic and I'll try to do regular American and just simple and easy things. I mean, for the Super Bowl, we had nachos and we had um, brie cheese with chutney. We do a lot of fun things. So here I am mixing the butter and the eggs and as I'm doing that, I'm kind of mashing it also. And then we also need to take our vinegar. We have to take a half a tablespoon of vinegar, teaspoon, sorry, and put that in there. And then it's set to take, let's open this up if I can. This is a curry powder. You can get this in any of your grocery stores. Let's put one teaspoon of that. I guess that adds a kick because it doesn't ask for any salt or pepper. So that probably gives it that little kind of Cajun kind of spiciness that you want. And you just mix it all together. This is a really fast and easy recipe. Um, I usually, if I was going to make it for the whole family and all, I'd probably have the eggs already done, keep it in the fridge, and then put it on the bread in the morning. So what you do is you take your pumpernickel bread. Very easy, like I said before. And you take this egg mixture, which took you like five seconds, five seconds to mix, about probably 10 minutes to prepare. And you just spread it on your pumpernickel bread. Pumpernickel bread also comes a little bit bigger, but I like this type of a size. And then you take your sprouts. I put this, you can do regular sprouts, but today I found like spicy sprouts. So I just put that on there. Um, and then you take your legacy chutney and you just pour it a little bit on this side. The black seeds that I have in the chutney, they're called onion seeds and they give it a little bit of a flavor. And some people, you know, have to get used to it. And like all things, some things you will like, some things you won't. And you just put the sandwich together. Take a nice knife and you cut it in half. And if I was having lunch at home with my family, I'd probably have it with like a juice, or I love pomegranate juice because that has antioxidants in it, and it's just very good for your heart and your whole body. And I would put 
my two sandwiches like that. And I've added also chips because with the egg, a little bit of the saltiness is good. And of course we have brownies or St. Louis ooey gooey butter cake, if I had it. But um, today we're just gonna do sandwiches. We'll do cakes another time. It's ready. Let's see how it turns out. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna just finish my bite. And I can tell you that the spiciness of the egg mixed with the sweetness and a little bit of the kick of the legacy chutney, it just, the, mix, the tastes are just all in your mouth, just blending together, and it is so delicious. Add a little salty chip. Mmm. Doesn't, isn't this making you want to eat this? Let me take another bite. Actually, you know what? I put one teaspoon of the Legacy Chutney. I actually would like to put a little more because I like it a little more spicy and it adds more moisture to this um, egg mixture, which is kind of like dry. Mmm. The sprouts with this chutney is delicious. And you know what? I think the mayonnaise would be really good too because it added tanginess. You would have, <laughs> sorry, you would have the tanginess and the sweetness and the saltiness and the eggness and everything. So once again, try this at home, give it for lunch, tell me what you think, and don't forget to use the legacy. See you next time.